hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question two from tutorial sheet one yeah so um for those that have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so yeah so that i uh, so that whatever that i'm going to be posting here you don't um miss out kindly click on the button which says subscribe for some of you who are using the laptop it's on the screen some of you are using the phone it's just down there below the screen so click on the button which says subscribe yeah and then i'll yeah and then and then you'll be able to see certain things that are hidden on my channel there are some mathematical questions and private questions that people ask only those that have subscribed are capable of seeing them so uh subscription is free is free yeah subscription is free so you don't have to pay anything just kindly click on that button so let us quickly move on to the uh to us this to 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 our to our question here for each of the following functions lists its domain and range so here this question uh this question the way you solve it it is in two ways yeah there is there is a way where you just uh what's this you can just list they are saying list its domain and the range yeah so here uh the question is not really clear but uh such questions do not come in the exams yeah they it can be broad but they cannot ask it in this way the way they've asked it here this one has about two ways in which you can do it which gives a uh, different answers so they were supposed to specify whether they just wanted the what the domain from these same functions or maybe we find the we, we form a function because when you look at this first part here it's just telling us to list meaning we're just supposed to list d you just say d is a set of what you just say d this is a set which is uh you get one there you get two there from this one and then you get five all right so and then in our and, and then another way you can find d is by first finding this function f so this function f when you uh, look at it this is one and then this is five two nine yeah you can agree with me that it's just a function which is four x uh, plus one when you multiply four times one you get four plus one you get five yeah so this is the function f f of x so if this is our function f of x meaning our domain can be any number so if they had specified would have uh, gotten one of these solutions so the first solution can be this one and then the second solution can be this one the domain will be any number that is starting from where from uh, negative infinity up to positive infinity yeah sorry so this side we use this kind of bracket not this one okay so um i i, I think for you guys since the, you were told to list you go for this one and then the range since you are told to list uh from from what you've been given so i think you you go for the first one and then the range is just the output meaning you list your five there so you say range is equal to this is a bracket so you have your five you have your nine and you have your 21 yeah all right so if you're using this uh function here down it's straightforward as well you also get your range as any po uh, any real number so the range is just equal to a set of all uh real numbers yeah you can either write this one or you say from negative infinity to positive infinity that's the range that is if you are using this uh, function here if you are using that function you you take this as your ranges and your va and your domains yeah so yeah that's it about this question this question is simple yeah this question is simple so same applies to this second part you do the same if you've been told to list 
you just get the numbers the inputs are these first values there 0 2 negative 1 negative 2 and then the the range is just 0 8 negative 1 negative 8 yeah so this is the range okay and then um what else what else yeah, the question is also telling us to form the inverse. So I, 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 you see why I was saying it's um, it's important to use the function because if you, if you've been taught to find the range using this function, it's easier because um, they are saying form the inverse function. So if you have been taught to form the inverse function, you just take this function there, you equate it to y. So you say y is equal to four x plus one and then you make x the subject of the formula so you are going to take this one to the other side of the equal sign it's going to be like this being equal to 4x so meaning your x here is going to be equal to y minus one over four y minus one over four so this is your so to find in the inverse function now you just say f inverse of x f inverse of x is equal to where this y they are replaced with x x minus 1 over 4 so to find the domain the domain there you can put any number as well so you can say from negative infinity to positive infinity. Same applies to the range. You say from negative infinity to positive infinity. So if if you have not been uh, told to find the function, to use the function, you just list uh, the opposite of this. So if you are talking about the inverse function, for instance, the first question here. So here, I'm th this what I'm writing here is just another alternative. If you are, if if you have not been taught to list, you have been taught to form a function and then find its domain and range. So if you have been taught to form a function and find its domain and range, this is the solution there. But if you have just been taught to list, you use you go for that uh, solution on top there. Now this question wasn't specifying. Uh, the the kind of method that you use so if you have been taught to uh to do what to to list the, the 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 domain and the range of the of f inverse it is just going to be the opposite of this so meaning this domain becomes your range and then this range becomes your domain just as simple as that yeah i hope you have gotten me the range becomes the domain and the domain becomes the range that's so that's the way it is if you are listing for uh, the inverse functions you just swap them yeah so thank you very much for watching and I'm pretty sure uh, having done the first part a eh, you guys can also do B go and try B and then if you try you find your solution you can simply text me your solution on uh, yeah on there is an email address in the and there's an email address just in the description down there uh, you can send your solution to that email address and then i'll respond to you as soon as i see your solution i'll tell you whether you've gotten it correct or you have gotten it wrong so there's an email address just in the description down there yes you find it yeah you find it you can send your solution there i'll respond to you shalom shalom Make sure that you, you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next tutorial video.